Once you've got your Forms Pro survey created, you'll want to go ahead and actually send it to somebody. So we're going to go ahead and do a send survey with an email. So if I click on send survey, we've got the email option. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Now, there are a bunch of um, default templates or standard templates that are created. And really all that is is a change in the in the verbiage rather than anything else. So you can see that they're very plain looking um, and don't reflect your company at all. You want to be able to go ahead and brand them. So let's go back to the default template and we've got a field, or sorry, we've got a, a button here we can click to save as. So let's go ahead and call this, uh, we'll call this generic feedback template. We'll go ahead and save that. All right, so we've basically just taken a copy of that. Um, you might want to change the subject so we could um, say, please, provide us with some feedback. Okay, um, so what we can do is we can delete the um, the overall feedback subject, so that's um, based on the name of your survey, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to go ahead and use this image insert button. To insert an image, you need to have a URL for that image where it's hosted somewhere online. So I've pasted that in, that's hosted on my website. As soon as I click out of that field, we can see there the image um, is displayed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in alternative text. So I'm sure you've all had an email you've received where the images have been blocked and then you could basically say you want to display them. So if the image is not showing, what do you want to actually have displayed? Um, and then you can do a link. So if somebody were to click on that image, then it would take them to, let's start again. It's hard to type and record at the same time. <laughs> so it would take them to this specific URL that you put in and we can go ahead and click OK and now we can see that that's displayed. Now, what you might find is that that image then um, covers covers over um, some of the text. We can see here we've got that please click the following link to complete the survey. So I'm just going to move that down. Um, I can also um, Put it, yeah, we can put it up below the line there. So we've got the image in there. Then we can go ahead and we can start putting in our text. So if I want to say um, hi, and then I can go ahead and personalize, and I can pick first name, I can put that in there. What you will find is that you've got a couple of things that have to be in there. First of all, you've got to have your survey link either in, as a button like you see here, um, or pacing in so what will happen is when that email gets sent it will actually show the URL and then also you've got this unsubscribe link as well so if I let's just go ahead and, and delete that as soon as I delete it notice that at the bottom here it says please add the unsubscribe link so you have to have that in your email message as soon as I put that in you can see there it's displayed again now, one thing that you can do, and this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it, is if you use some kind of um, email, uh, marketing email tool, or you've got somebody in the marketing department, somebody that's able to create HTML emails, is to create an email that somewhere that's where all of the images are hosted online. And then what you can do, so if I go here, I can literally go and I can select, copy it, and then I can paste that into the email. So we can see there it's it's pasted everything in. Now that's not exactly how I want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to neaten it up a bit and then we'll come back once I've done that. All right, so here's my finished template. So I've used a combination of um, inserting images. So we can see there's the header image that I've inserted. And then also at the bottom, I've got images that I took from the uh, from here and I'd had them laid out and I could go ahead and copy and paste them in there. Um, you want to make sure that again you've got these images hosted on your own server somewhere rather than another um, another server that doesn't belong to your organization and you don't want to be streaming the images from there. Uh, get yourself into trouble. So you can see there I've got my email template. It looks nice. It's got um, fonts that I might use within my organization. Um, it's got my social media images. It's got my unsubscribe link and it's got my start survey button as well um, as the survey link being displayed. So now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and I can pick um, 
somebody to send this to. And uh, let's go with this one and then I can go ahead and I can click send. And once that email has been sent out, we can see there that the survey invitation has been sent. We can go back and we can compose a new email. Now, the um, the email template that we have have created, we created it on this specific survey, so we can see here the generic feedback template. However, that template is going to be available for any of the subsequent surveys that I create. I've basically got that template to be able to access. So now if I go over into my email, there's the email that was just sent and we can see there's the Hi Megan, the personalized first name and our details and the link to start the survey. Um, and then we've also got the uh, social media icons as well. So, and then it's taken us to that specific survey. So hopefully that helps. You can see that you could create an email that's a little bit more personalized or customized rather um, using your own company images, company fonts, colors, all of that sort of stuff. So hopefully you found this useful. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.